It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Something pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Magic Molly Mall. I let my tape rock. Who you fucking? These days niggas wanna hurt you for nothing. These days I don't even care for a title. These days you just getting fucked and recycled. Hi guys, welcome to the 20 somethings podcast. I'm your host Lex, also known as Lex Goody on my Instagram and TikTok. So make sure you follow me, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you turn on your post notification bell so you can see every time I post a video. So here on the 20 somethings podcast, we are talking about the unexplainable, unconventional, unprovoked and provoked topics and life experiences of today where I'm going to be talking about my personal experiences that I'm going through past experiences experience that I feel like other people are going through that I want to speak on and you guys can always feel free to DM me leave a comment hit me up and we can talk about topics that you want to talk about so before we get into that again please make sure you subscribe like and comment Today on the 20-somethings podcast, we are talking about how soft life is actually hard as f***. be surprised how many people don't know how hard it is to create a soft life. How a lot of things that are soft and smooth started off as very tough terrain. I don't know if anybody knows this, but did you know that even water, okay, water can smoothen a rock on a mountain over time. The rocks under waterfalls, if you ever walked like, if you ever went to Jamaica and was on Duns River Falls, it's slippery. Like, it's a reason why they say wear shoes and everything, it's slippery because you constantly have water rubbing against these rocks. And that's what I'm saying. You would think something that's so soft and has basically no feeling can make something that is hard and rugged smooth. But so it is with a soft life. A lot of girls, I feel like a lot of people have a mistaken because this day and age, you know, on TikTok, Instagram, everybody's just, they're taking pictures of roses and doing the little boomerangs of like the new little, um, the shark boots, the Da Vinci boots they got and the roses and the bags and the clothes and da 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 and, and they're squeezing it in like 10 seconds. So they're making you think like, oh yeah, it's easy, blah, blah, blah. It's coming easy. To be perfectly honest, a lot of these girls, they're with tricks. They're with men that don't love them in a way that you would want to be loved. A lot of girls are settling for guys that, for men that are married on the low, that don't want to have kids, that don't want to be married, that don't want attachments, that want an open relationship, that want to trick on multiple girls because they know they got it like that. They know they can. If a man knows that I can have a million girls and I can buy a million girls a Louis Vuitton bag, why would he stay with you and just buy you a Louis Vuitton bag? You're only one flavor. You're only one girl. You only have one vagina. Why when he can have seven different vaginas, all different colors, shapes? One makes him laugh, one cooks for him. You know what I'm saying? So don't be fooled by girls talking about soft life this, soft life that, and a lot of them are getting beat up. You know what I'm saying? The real soft life to me is a soft life that a, a life that I can give myself. I would what what is a soft life if you're worried about if this man that's funding your life can leave you one day? What's a soft life if in the back of your head you're like, yo, if he decides to leave me or stop fucking with me, I don't know what I'm gonna do. How is that a soft life? Soft life better be soft, it better be soft peace of mind, soft um energy, soft skin so everything like everything gotta be soft inside and out it can't just be like oh it looks soft to other people like no because if that was the case i'll do it by myself and make it look even better you know i can put you on a boat bitch i'm young i'm young and hot i can put myself on a boat and i can meet my next candidate i don't need no guy to be you know what i'm saying but what i'm pretty much getting at soft life don't come soft baby 
It don't. You got to mold it. You got to shape it. You got to really form it how you want it. Even, I feel like even the girls that do got the guys that make their life look soft, they have to kind of train that man. Low key, even if he feel like he in control, everybody knows in your feminine divine power, you know how to train these men. Like you got to know how to stroke their ego and like shape them into how you want to keep them comfortable. So even that's a job within itself. But again, if you're doing this on your own, if you're creating your own soft life, just know it's going to be a lot of ugly things as far as when you start telling people no setting boundaries that's already rough that's a, that's rough for a lot of us there's a lot of there's a lot of us no matter what age it's still hard for you to set boundaries it's still hard for you to say no you know what i'm saying but a lot of people that are successful and they're where they want to be is because they set boundaries no i'm not doing that no nah, i'm not i'm not taking that no nah, i don't want to kick it with her it's hard but it's you're doing it one of those rough things that you start to smooth down but it was rough in the beginning Ooh, ooh, when you want to get into shape, do you know how hard it is to put down an ice cream cone? Like when you PMS in or when you on your per it's like stuff like that. Like even just stuff as simple as like taking on new endeavors that you've never went like taken on before. And it's scary and it's uncomfortable. That's hard as fuck. And then when you got to and like a lot of successful people, they got comfortable being uncomfortable. So you now you're now you got to do uncomfortable shit constantly. Like that's already hard because if people, if everybody could do it, everybody would be doing uncomfortable shit, but it's hard to do. Like it's hard to do uncomfortable shit. So again, another rough thing in order to get you to this soft life. Okay. So let's, I, I want us all to be very, um, real here. And I don't want any delusional motherfuckers on my shit. We're not here to be delusional unless it's about our crush or like, you know, we could be delusional about one person. But if we talk about life, like our life, nah, nah, baby girl, we not, we not doing the delusion. We not about to be delusional about our life, like our future. So yeah, when you're talking about you and you being in control of this soft life, girl, you're going to have to go through some shit. You're going to have to say a lot of no's. You have to do a lot of uncomfortable stuff. You're going to have to break a lot of habits that you ain't fuck with. And it takes time. It's it's like a, it's not going to just be like, no, because you could be on a fitness journey or whatever. And then, you know, you just go through a rough path in your life. And then now you're not in the gym anymore. Does it mean that you're not still disciplined enough? Or does it mean that you're not still worthy enough? No, you're just going through some ish. But the girls that make it seem like they soft life is just constant and forever, forever. I promise you guys behind those closed doors, there's words that's being said okay that guy's making her feel less than to keep her in that place and she got to do what she got to shut up so don't listen to a lot of these city girls that be trying to be like yeah i i, I be running him i be walking him like a dog yeah 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 when she see that new birkin on that kitchen counter she's like this walking who <laughs> okay who you walking baby who you walking they don't be walking shit they don't be walking shit, but they ask to that room to go sit down and hush for the next two weeks. But no one can take away, no one can take away from you the soft life that you have built. It is hard as fuck though. So, I mean, yes, when you get there, it's very soft. The life is so soft. But we got to stop thinking that soft life is just going to happen overnight because you're like, I'm living a soft life now. Because you just, you started drinking wine and going to sleep in silk pajamas like bitch nah but however a soft life may look to you that's great like if your soft life looks a certain type of way to you don't don't base it off of what other people's looks like or what mine's what i think mine's looks like or whatever however it looks for you that's lit but i feel like at the end of the day i want everyone to give themselves a soft life okay especially our ladies I really want y'all to give yourselves a soft life for yourself. Do not let any man give you no nothing, honestly, unless he's unless he's just giving that to you. But don't let it be something that he's like holding over you. Because once a guy can feed you, clothe you, you know what I'm saying? He can take all that away from you. Now that one that one second, that that time that you had of having a soft life, next day you wake up after that argument, now your life hard as fuck. Hard hard okay very hard 
all for what? When you could have been working on your own soft life, you could have been halfway to your goals by now, you could have been doing what you wanted to be doing. So let's just normalize soft life being what you give in yourself. Let's normalize soft life not even having to include a man. How about that? Because I feel like everybody think a soft life has to include a relationship and gifts in the relationship. No, why can't a soft life be, I'm blessed by God. I'm I'm healthy. I'm eating all the foods I want to eat while I'm butt naked on my couch. Rent is paid. I like my job. I like my friends. Oh, I got a trip planned to Bora Bora in in uh five months. Um, I'm about to buy these pair of shoes I've been saving up for. Like, why can't it... Why can't it just be that? Why can't it be like, I'm about to go to the spa with my homegirls. I'm about to go somewhere with my mom. I'm about to life needs to start. What's the definition? Honestly, let's look it up. Because maybe I got to look it up before I even start. Let's see. <laughs> soft life definition. The term soft life originated in the Nigerian influencer community as slang for living a life of comfort and low stress. That is part of what makes soft life content so content so inspiring. The chance to imagine what life can feel like apart from the realities of black woman's labor. Hmm. Okay, I mean I see that. And and and, and exactly. Living a life of comfort and low stress. Y'all think men not gonna get y'all stress? I don't understand why. So please, let's yeah, let's normalize taking the dude out of it. Cause if this talking about living a life of comfort and low stress, you already fucked up. You thought a man was about to do that for you. Please, no. And yes, black women have a lot of labor that we have to deal with mentally, physically, emotionally. We do. So we gotta enjoy. Being like, I did this, I got this on my own, whatever. A lot of girls are scared to stand in that divine femininity of like, I got this on my own, I'm doing this for myself. Because they feel like it makes them look less attractive, it doesn't make them look like a damsel. But because you want something to be proud of when nobody's looking. You want something to be proud of when the doors are closed. You want something to be proud of when you're not on a date. When you're not trying to impress this new guy, like... This is your life. This is your life. This is you. This is your crown. This is your kingdom. This is your palace. Have something to be proud of. Have some paperwork for your pet. Y'all always want paperwork for the new Benz. And oh, he got me. I got a pink slip to my new Benz. He just bought me. I got paperwork to my Birkin and my Rolex. Have paperwork to your bumba clot life. Have paperwork for your achievements that you've done for yourself. So you can look back and be proud. And that's, and I hope I don't sound like no preachy grandma, but that's all I just want for my beautiful queens out there that you just deserve to give yourself soft life before anything and before anyone. Give it to yourself first. That's just how it goes. Nobody saying you can't get it from a guy, but give it to yourself first because then you'll meet the right guy because he'll be like, oh, this is how she take care of herself? Oh yeah, bet. Bet. I'm about to, I know how to come now. I know, I know what she deserve. I know what she looking for because she could do it for herself. You know what I'm saying? And then you won't even be thinking about that because you're so busy doing your own thing. But <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, guys, if you did, please make sure to leave me a like and a comment. I love to talk. I love to have good conversation. I cannot wait to keep talking to you guys and having more conversations and topics. If you did enjoy this, feel free to let me know. Feel free to hit me up. Feel free to share with your friends. Make sure you share this video. Share all of them here at the 20 somethings podcast where we get real, we authentic, we're transparent, we're open, and I'm gonna always keep it a buck. You feel me? I'm gonna always keep it a stack. So um, yes, guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you tune into the next video. Bye. Wow.